Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is Technical Analysis of Sina Corporation. This is the um, Chinese social media stock uh, that's been pretty popular, been a, you know pretty volatile over the years. You can see this is we're looking at a weekly chart, IPO days back in 2010, and um, you know the uh, the high post IPO was like 58 something. And it sold off dramatic sell off with the whole collapse of the you know the the Nasdaq stocks etc. Bottomed here in 2001, uh, right after 9/11, and then huge first move. Okay, first uh, what I'd call a, an impulse move or motive wave coming up, and I, I'm calling this cycle wave one. We now have a very broad complex cycle wave two that looks like it bottomed here in 2009. And now cycle wave three looks like it's underway. Although you, you're kind of wondering, you know, really, you shouldn't, you know, this corrective type move. I mean, look at this kind of stuff. Okay. This, the reason I'm saying this is primary wave one and primary wave two is because this cannot be a, a blue Roman numeral three because this can't be four. Four cannot overlap one. Okay. It's an Elliott wave rule. So once you get and you see that you, this overlapping is going on, then you know you're in a degree lower for sure. OK, so this is primary wave one and this is primary wave two pullback. I think we're get, we have an intermediate wave one up that was completed into uh, 2013. And now we've had a pullback that almost retraced the entire first intermediate wave two. Now I'm going to go let's move to the daily chart and we'll take a look. And, and here's the deal. This was pretty complex trying to understand and figure this out. It took me a while to, you know, get to this scenario. And actually, I think this is my best shot as what I think is going on. We just talked about this intermediate wave one. OK, so I think we've got five waves up in this intermediate wave one. Now, here's the the corrective action pulling back in this uh, this wave two. And actually, I didn't put I need to, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this and we're going to put this right down here by Y and paste it. And we are going to make that the two. Okay. So this is where it's, and I think we had a complex, I think we had an A, B, C, W, an X, kind of an A, B, C, X. And then we got this zigzag A, because it looks like five waves down, pretty strong, B, and then C, uh, you know, five waves stretched out, you know, strong down move C. So we end up with a WXY, very complex corrective, uh, kind of a combination of a correction here, a linking wave, and a correction here. OK, so now I think we're starting off with a wave one here and a wave two pullback. This is another wave one and wave two within three. That's my scenario. Now, here's where I'm going to be wrong. This is why what's nice about this is, you know, the scenario is off is if this way continues down and takes out this low right here. We take out two, then we know for sure that this little sequence is off. OK. But then in terms of this bullish scenario, we'll know that wave one is wrong if this point is taken out right here. OK, because that's considered to be my zero point. Right. Here's my zero point for launching a new wave, intermediate wave three up. But if we go below this point, which is 42.4, we go below that point, then the bullish scenario is off. And that means we are still correcting. OK, so that's uh, that's my best assessment of what's going on right now. Um, you know, you got the 21 above the 55 in here, the 10 above the 21, although it's pulled back slightly. Uh, it'll be interesting. This looks like five little waves up. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see, does this point hold? And then more importantly, does this point hold? OK, that's my best scenario for uh, for. Cena Corporation at the time. I assume they call themselves Corporation anyway. We're going to call them Corporation. And if you felt like this video was helpful to you, please tweet it or share it on social media of some kind. 
And if you're not a subscriber, just click this little red box on the screen and subscribe, download the PDF I've got for you. You get access to the trade ideas pages and updates as to when I uh, put out new posts. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. We'll see you on the next video.